Ray Tracing used to be Nvidia's exclusive playground, their tech, their territory, their dominance, but things aren't that simple anymore. In this video we are comparing the RTX 5070 and AMD's RX 9070, two GPUs that at least on paper belong to different leagues when it comes to RT. But we put them on the same field. We tested Cyberpunk 2077, Star Wars Outlaws, Dragon Age Velgard, Black Meat Wukong and of course Hogwarts Legacy, all with ray tracing enabled at 1080p, 4040p and 4K. We didn't just look at the raw FPS, we also measured port draw, efficiency and which GPUs offer better value in this segment. And yeah, MD is no longer just trying to catch up. The real question is, have they already arrived? Let's start with the what's arguably the harsh test for ray tracing Cyberpunk 2077 and at 1080p it's basically a draw, 77 FPS for AMD, 66, 76 for Nvidia, 4040p again nearly identical results, 48 versus 47 and at 4K both GPUs drop to 24 FPS. The takeaway, in the game where Nvidia used to be synonymous with RT, AMD is now neck and neck. That's not a small achievement for AMD. Next up, Star Wars Outlaws and this time AMD starts to pull ahead. At 1080p, RX 9070 hits 102 FPS versus 99 for the RTX. 4040p, 75 versus 71 FPS and at 4K, AMD leads again, 43 to 40. This is a rare territory, AMD beats Nvidia in ray tracing. No DLSS, no upscaling, no FSR, no FG, just raw horsepower and a clean win for AMD. Third title, Dragon Age Velgard and the pattern continues at 1080p, 116 versus 114. In 4040p, 85 to 80 and 4K resolution 49 versus 48. Differences are small but consistent and that's what many viewers miss. Ray tracing performance isn't black and white anymore. It's no longer as simple as just get a GeForce and go. Then comes Black Pit Wukong and this is where AMD hits a wall. At 1080p RTX delivers 60 FPS while AMD drops to just 39. At 4040p 39 versus 25 and 4K 19 for Nvidia 12 for AMD. This game is clearly optimized for Nvidia's RT pipeline and DLSS helps even more but in this situation it's without DLSS. RX 9070 just can't keep up. Really check, there are not still games where AMD just isn't there yet. Finally, the last game, Hogwarts Legacy, one of the most popular ray tracing titles today. 1080p we have 105 for AMD, 102 for Nvidia. At 4040p, 78 versus 76 and of course la last resolution 4K, 43 versus 44. This is once a classic deadlock. Performance is nearly identical and the decision comes down to things like if you want FSR and DLSS upscaling technology, memory bandwidth or acoustic not raw frame rates. In ray tracing Nvidia still holds an edge, especially in games optimized for its architecture, but RX 9070 isn't punchline anymore. It's competitive in 3 out of 5 titles and in some like Star Wars and Dragon Age it's better and that's what makes this generation so interesting. When we easily adjust the ray tracing results from these 5 modern games, the picture becomes really clear. Nvidia leads but it's no longer dominant. Average FPS RTX 5070 scores 63, RX 9070 hits 61. Real minimal difference about 3% in favor of RTX card. But let's talk price per frame. Based on MSRP, RTX 5070 is $874 per frame and RX 9070 $894. Very close, but Nvidia still slightly ahead. Based on real US retail pricing, RTX is at $971 per frame, RX 9070 $1091. Here the RTX 5070 becomes clearly more cost effective. 
What about power consumption? Virtual identical, just one watt difference. Efficiency per frame, RTX 5070 is 378 watts, RX 9070 385 watts. A small win, of course, for NVIDIA again. If ray tracing is your priority and you care about performance per dollar, RTX 5070 remains the safer, more efficient choice. But what's truly important? AMD is finally in the game. Not just catching up, but competing, and that changes everything in future.